Hi, Lipa here. Thank you for joining me here on Lipa the Divine and giving me your time. Thank you for sharing your energy with me and um, coming in to hear the message that is coming in loud and strong is wisdom and spirituality grows over time like your hair. It takes time. It grows like your hair over time. So I'm basically I'm um, hearing this as like you need to have patience, little grasshopper. Um, have patience and the spirituality, the wisdom and everything grows over time, like your hair. And um, you know, sometimes I think that things that come to us take a little bit longer for others. Um And sometimes it could be frustrating to not be able to get to what we want, right? Quick enough. The Knight of Swords. It doesn't happen as quickly as some like. The energy is there, the fire. Sagittarius energy, right? The fire is in your belly. It is a Five of Swords situation with that Knight of Swords. The fire is in your belly where you stand to fight for what it is that you believe in. But if there's too much focus on the things that have passed us by, the things that have passed us by over time, the things that have passed us by because we let fear get the best of us. Mm. Focusing on the things like we covered yesterday of procrastination, um, temptation. Um, focusing only on the negative things doesn't get us anywhere. You have to focus ahead, right? But you're having the fire inside of you to do this. And it's with this like whole change of energy, right? We have the new moon, we have the, the eclipse energy, solar energy that happens, ending chapters, beginning new chapters. And it looks like there is the anticipation of a lover. Love us. Yes. So, something to definitely look forward to because the twin flame energy is looking like it's coming in stronger and stronger as we're getting closer to the end of the year of 2020. Hmm. I'm hearing someone say, I can't wait until 2020 is over. <clears throat> I can't wait until 2020 is freaking over. I flipped one. Maybe not. Okay. So we want 2020 to be over. There's anticipation of a lover coming in to ask for your hand. To want to... They, they see you very sexually desirable. They... Um, think about you quite often actually in that way. Lots of cards. They see, like, they see you as fire. Okay, so they see you as fire, and that's where this energy is also coming in as they see you as basically, um, maybe a little bit above their status. Um, per se, or maybe that's just the insecurity that they, they're putting you on this pedestal, which, you know, you have to be careful with that kind of energy. Um, if someone is over, over with the, the 2020, I mean, it's like the the time of, of not sharing anymore is coming to pass. This grand idea that you want to bring into the future is going to happen um, they also see you as they really want to give you this grand idea. You know what I'm saying? Because they see it here as like, almost like they want to impregnate you. You know, they want to, they want to have that family with you. They see you as the one. And, um, I mean, they have this like thought of you, um, judgment card here. They have this thought of you here that like, man, this is the one 
they have their shit together the nine of cups i have my stuff together are they going to accept this offer that i have to or want to give to them right and they're just really in their heads the four of swords really in their heads if this is like like this is it like you know like if i come to them and ask them you know to be something with me be something with me um two of cups be something with me um do they have the patience or was this already a long time that we've been waiting for you know like with spirituality and wisdom taking time to grow will they be with me will they understand will they understand death card here um chapters beginning chapters um ending total death cards saw it in the beginning called it there in the beginning of the reading eight of cups you have here the capacity of walking away with this there's this fulfillment of everything being completed but there's still that ninth cup that's wanted so they leave these this eight of cups energy because they there's this nine of cups they you know they want to see it with the nine of cups there's that one cup that's still missing you have that one cup that's still missing manifesting to make it happen with the magician energy here begging pleading praying about it putting oh and then we have here freaking eight of pentacles right so the eight of pentacles here is putting in the work that energy that um the spirituality growing your hair over time you know the eight of pentacles growing it and you know when you grow or do something whether it's plants a home a family um your bank account it takes time and energy, right? A coin is time or energy. A coin is an actual dollar that you earn per hour. Um, time that you, a coin is time that you share with someone and have, you know, intimacy with, affection with. Those are all pentacles. So you have here the eight of cups right but don't have the ninth cup and you want that ninth cup <clears throat> you've been putting in the work which is confirmation of an eight of pentacle here there was two more cups on the board or two more cups two more cards on the on the um board and it is the knight of cups which is um coming in faster than um coming in faster than um the why am I going blank? Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. So the first one on the board was the Knight of Swords, right? That's the fast moving action. They want to move in fast with you. But there it hasn't been movement yet. They're coming though. As soon as it seems that this three of swords energy is completely like the last of the last of it. Or or it's like wondering if you've had the last of um, you know, with your heart. Um your heart hurting can they bring in something to offer with you something to bring in to offer with you because they don't want to get hurt anymore i'm sure you don't want to get hurt anymore um i'm sure that you know they've had other transactions also with business that um didn't go well and so they're just really like, man, you know, they see it working with you. They see it working with you. And how, how they come in is a page of swords. They see it working with you. It is um, a messenger coming in, um, kind of cut and dry, like a little small, like, you know, hey, this is what I'm about. Nothing too serious. Um we have here um the ten of swords energy 
Um, I, I saw this in a prior uh, carb pull on a prior video um, that had to get deleted. It's just confirmation again. I know you guys can't see that, but the Ten of Swords was out beforehand. It's a broken foundation. The sword's hitting so hard through the body of this card. It's basically hitting the foundation and cracking through. And so there is a cracked, broken foundation system, structure. Um, and, and, and it might not be so heavy in detail as to saying, um, like I might be saying it a little bit darker than what it is. They just might kind of be like, you know, um, the, this is something kind of like how I experienced in the past. Um, you know, they cheated on me. Um, and you know, it, it's going to be like, like really not that heavy in conversation, but it's going to be like that kind of like, hey, this is kind of like what went down. And they're going to share a little bit of their vulnerability with you. And how is spirit asking you to handle this? The spirit's asking you to handle this as a queen of swords. Okay. We do have a lot of swords energy out right now. And sometimes you might think too much with your heart. And so um, I've mentioned this before. If... You are thinking too much with your hearts. There's a lot of cups on the board. If you're uh, thinking or you know need to think more with your head, then there are the swords present because you have to make sure you're having good judgment or making sure you're um, holding up a boundary. So you have to make sure that you come and be like, okay, like the Queen of Swords, she holds her hand out and says, okay, come forward and speak to me. Let me know what it is that you are telling me. And here, I will hear you out very Libra energy. I will hear you out as she sits on her throne and she decides, you know, whether um, she lets you stay in her presence or she tells you that, no, right? That's you. You're like, no, I'm not going to handle this um, or not handle it, but I'm not going to... Um, be codependent in this situation and I'm not going to take on responsibility for you clean, cleaning up your side of the street okay so let's go ahead and finalize this and wrap this up here with this um, reading and with that said you know my queen of sword the knight of wands is now present so we had the knight of swords right the knight of cups was on the table and now we have the nine of wands they're coming they're coming to tell you what it is that they have been battling with the seven of wands what they've been battling with and Again, we have confirmation on the board of Eight of Cups, okay? They're coming in. You see that you have these Eight Cups full, right? But you're still missing that one cup. And you're looking for it. You want that Ninth Cup. You want someone that wants that Ninth Cup as well, too. Or it has the ninth cup already, right? They're in the ninth. They're in that status of eight cups or more, basically, is what I'm hearing. That's the judgment on it. I want someone with eight cups or more like me going after that ninth cup. Then with the goal and succession of getting to the ten of cups. Yes. Okay, that sounds good. That's where we're at for today. We know a little bit of what's coming. Let's be a little bit prepared. Let's have our our um, our spiritual armor on. And uh, thank you for joining me here today. And please like, subscribe, um, jump over onto Instagram if you're on IG and there as well as Letha the Divine. And I thank you again so much for your time. All right.